Hello guys, in this video we will talk about what is SNI and how we can implement that on our application load balancer. So let's get started. So SNI stands for server name indication. SNI solves the problem of loading multiple SSL certificates onto one web server to serve multiple websites. And in our case that one web server is our application load balancer. It's a newer protocol and requires the client to indicate the host name of the target server in the initial SSL handshake and by the host name we mean the domain name of our website. The server will then find the correct certificate or return the default one. So if I explain to you all that in really simple terms then it would be Let's say we have two websites, mohayuddin.com and ziauddinphotography.com and I do not want to create a separate load balancer for each of these websites. Then what I can do is I can create a single load balancer and use that to serve both of these websites with their proper SSL certificates. So now guys let me take you to the AWS console and show you how we can implement all that. So if you have watched my previous videos guys then you already know that we have created a load balancer here that load balancer is demo ALB for our domain name mohyuddin.com So now I will use this same load balancer to serve our another domain which is ziauddinphotography.com So here you can see guys these are the DNS records of my domain ziauddinphotography.com and I have already pointed the A record to the load balancer this is the load balancer, the same load balancer which is now serving uh, mohayuddin.com and here you can see guys I have also already generated a SSL certificate for my website ziauddinphotography.com and uh, I have also created a target group to forward the traffic for my website uh, ziauddinphotography.com so if any of that sounds confusing to you guys then I would highly suggest that you watch my previous videos to understand these target groups and these certificate manager concepts okay so now guys let's click on our application load balancer let's select this HTTPS listener click on actions add SSL certificates for SNI so here you can see guys it is showing the list of all the certificates that we have here in the AWS certificate manager so we have two certificates one for mohyuddin.com and other is ziauddinphotography.com and if I scroll down guys then you can see that right now only one certificate that we generated for mohyuddin.com is attached with our application load balancer. So now I will add this certificate ziauddinphotography.com to the application load balancer as well. So let's select that, click on include as pending below. And here you can see guys the certificate has been included here. Now click on add pending certificates. So okay guys so now this certificate has all uh, been successfully added to our listener HTTPS. So now let's go back to our demo LV. And here you can see guys let's select that uh, again. Click on actions. Now click on manage rules. Let's click on here add insert rule so we will insert the rule host header guys so here I would say that if you receive request from ziauddinphotography.com then you must forward the request to this target group ziauddin group which I created specifically for ziauddinphotography.com let's click on save Okay guys so, so the rule has been successfully created so now let's go to our incognito tab and type ziauddinphotography.com and let's see what we get. So you can see guys my domain has been successfully served with HTTPS protocol and here it says welcome to ziauddin photography and now let's type mohayuddin.com. So you can see guys mohyuddin.com is also working well. So that's the concept of SNI guys. So you see that how we successfully used only one load balancer to serve our two websites ziauddinphotography.com and mohyuddin.com. 
so that's it for this video guys so i hope now you guys have a better understanding of what is sni and how you can implement that on our on your application load balancer so if you have any questions regarding that guys please comment down below and i will make sure to answer each of them and if you like the video then please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much